In this video we will introduce the base model network, which will be used throughout the LV network example. In the project overview window, activate the base model study case. Three diagrams are immediately activated. The first one, which you can see here, is the 400 volt system overview diagram. If you click on the other tabs, you can see the 10 kV and 30 kV overview diagrams. Double click on a substation in this diagram to see a detailed single line diagram of the substation. Displayed, you can see the MV part of the network, the MV slash LV transformer, and the LV part of the network. In the LV network, there are a number of outgoing feeders. You can see how these feeders are represented in the 400 volt overview diagram by right clicking and selecting the option mark in other diagram. The 400 volt overview diagram will automatically be opened and zoomed in on the selected element. Zoom out to show the 400 volt diagram in its entirety again. Choose the diagram coloring icon, select the option 3, other, then topology feeders and click on OK. The diagram coloring now shows that there are feeders present in the network. Open the diagram coloring dialog again. Deselect option 3. Select the option alarm, and ensure that the option feeder radiality check is selected. Notice that with this option checked, any feeders that are not being operated radially, will be highlighted in bright red. None of the feeders are shown marked as bright red, therefore, it can be assumed that the network is running radially. We will now close an interconnection and force the network to run in a mesh. Zoom in on a part of the network. Look at the detailed single line diagram for a particular substation. Find a circuit breaker for an outgoing feeder, which is open, and close the circuit breaker. You'll notice immediately that the outgoing weight turns bright red. Return to the 400 volt diagram, and notice in this diagram also, the feeder is marked as red. The diagram coloring has noticed that the feeder is running in a mesh arrangement, rather than a radial arrangement. Select the substation at the other end of the feeder, open the circuit breaker corresponding with the feeder in the mesh arrangement. You'll notice that the feeder is indicated as running radially again.